Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Google Analytics with your super site. So if you haven't got a super site already, check the video in the description below that will show you how to set up a site. So once you've done that, head over to analytics.google.com and register with your Google account. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you to create a new account with analytics. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. This section is all optional, so I'm going to uncheck all these and hit next. Here it's going to ask us to create a property and now our property is a site. So I'm just going to put my site name in here. You can add yours. Feel free to change the time zone and the currency. Hit next. All these are optional. So I'm going to head and skip those and click create. Awesome. So the next step is to set up our data stream. This is essentially to create a little code snippet that we can include in our super site. So we're creating a website. So hit web. Next, we want to add our super URL here. You can use a super.site domain, you can use your own custom domain or even a subdomain. Cool. This is optional, but I'm going to leave it enabled. It gives you a bit more um, analytics data. Then we want to click create stream. Great. Once that's done, this pop up is going to appear. We want to simply head down to this tagging instruction section and into this global site tag drop down. Open that up and here is the code snippet that we need. Go ahead and click copy. Next, head over to your super site, into the code section, and in the head tab, simply paste the script. If you have a style sheet or a template or anything like that in your head, you can just add it below that, no problem. Then hit save. Great, that's all you need to do. So back in the analytics, if you head over to your reports dashboard, you will notice that you don't actually have any data coming in immediately. It can take anywhere from a couple hours to a couple days for data to start appearing in here. Okay, one more thing to note is that in your super site, it's really important to make sure that most of your pages, if not all of them, have a pretty URL like this here, forward slash analytics. If you have sync URL turned on, you don't need to worry about that. But if you're adding pages manually, make sure that you give them a nice name in here. Otherwise, Notion will assign a random URL and it'll be really hard for you to identify the different pages in your analytics dashboard. Great, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, see you in another video.